This week, I'm feeling extremely nostalgic. After talking to a friend about movies we loved growing up, I remembered my deep love for a movie that impacted me so much as a kid. A movie that I watched over 20 times easily, and that movie is High School Musical. If you don't know High School Musical, then it was nice knowing you. I joke, but if you don't know, it's a movie about well, a musical set in high school. It's such a simple story, but today I wanna rewatch it and see if I still have rose-tinted glasses on for this movie, because the last time I watched this film was probably 15 years ago, and as I said, I loved it so, so, so much. I discovered High School Musical because I was watching Jump In, if you know, you know, and then I randomly came across High School Musical on Disney Channel, and I saw Corbin Blue was in it, and I didn't actually like it initially at all, because I loved Jump In so much, and this was not, in fact, jump in. But I very quickly fell in love with this movie, the second one, and the third movie too. There's also apparently a High School Musical TV show which is undoubtedly banking on nostalgia, so maybe I'll watch that one day for a video. But now I want to transport myself back to a world of innocence and re-watch High School Musical, but also rank all the songs and talk about the movie, and I just cannot wait. So I'm gonna go watch High School Musical, and I'm so excited, as I've just said 50 million times. So let's go. Let's work it! Okay, so High School Musical definitely hit that nostalgia button for me and it made me feel extremely old. I cannot believe that this movie is 18 years old because I was watching this and I was mentally back to when I was, I don't even know what, 12 or 13 years old. I felt every single emotion. I felt everything that I felt when I was 12. And I don't know if that's a sign of me being, I did that I just haven't grown up or what it means. I don't know, but I have a lot to say about High School Musical and I'm also excited to tier, to rank or whatever the songs from this movie. If I look like I've just been dragged through a bush, it's because I was literally cuddled up on the couch watching the singing along, having the time of my life. And that was extremely fun. Yeah, I, I love High School Musical and I can confirm 18 years later I still absolutely adore High School Musical. That was extremely fun. In every single video I struggle to come up with an original synopsis so I always read it from like Letterboxd. But this week I feel like I have one that's kind of like acceptable. So my synopsis for High School Musical is, if you don't know what this movie is about, is two students who are complete opposites share a hidden talent for singing. Though it's what brings them together, they're afraid to admit their shared interest. Ooh, is that good? I, I don't really think it is, but I read the letterboxed synopsis or description for this movie and it is so dramatic and I'm here for it. I love it. The letterboxed synopsis for High School Musical is a popular high school athlete and an academically gifted girl get roles in the school musical and develop a friendship that threatens East High's social order. I feel like throwing that in like the social order part is, it's just perfect. This movie almost makes me hyper. I remember the first time I watched High School Musical, I absolutely hated it because I watched Jump In and I was like, oh, this is going to be a movie like Jump In. And whenever I saw that this was like a musical or whatever, I was like, oh, I really hate this. And then very, very quickly, I developed an absolute obsession with this movie. I'm talking like for High School Musical 3, I remember when it was in the cinema, I, wished to, I went to watch High School Musical 3 in the cinema three times and I went with my mum to watch James Bond one time and I got so bored of James Bond when I I was a kid that I was like, you know what? As a kid, I was probably like 16. I got so bored of it that I left to go to the other screening, which was showing High School Musical 3. Um, yep, so I watched it like four or five times in the cinema. I was probably that very annoying kid watching High School Musical 3, singing along while, while people were just trying to enjoy the movie. I loved High School Musical. High School Musical meant absolutely everything to me, and I loved those movies so much. So getting to re-watch that and re, like, reignite those emotions as a grown-ass adult felt, yeah, it was almost therapeutic if that's like a word that you could use for this. I loved like everything from the very start I was like oh my gosh I love the clothes I love like the innocence that's portrayed and like the memories of innocence and me being like 11 years old and singing all the songs and dancing around my room it just brings me back to a certain time of my childhood and of my life where everything was just so innocent where I didn't really care what a movie was like I didn't really care about the acting because the acting in this and the lip-syncing the everything is in every single way not great but I 
I just didn't care about that. I just really cared about how the movie made me feel and it made me feel inspired, incredible because every single I watch, every single time I watch these movies, I just wanted to sing and dance. And I really loved the message of this movie, even though it's hammered home so, so, so much and way too much in this movie of, you know, you don't have to stick to the status quo. You don't have to stick to what people are telling you to do. You don't have to stick to expectations. You can do your own thing if you want to be a boy and sing. Gosh, I was such a loser as a kid. But you can do that if you're a boy. You can sing and you can perform and you can be into theater. And um, yeah, when I was younger, I definitely needed a movie like this. So maybe I even used it as like a therapy thing. Um, don't know, but um, it was definitely impactful uh, to me. <laughs> High School Musical 2 was also the first book I read. I don't even know if it was a real High School Musical book or if it was a book written after the movie came out, but I remember because, um, as I mentioned in previous videos, English is not my first language, so I remember trying to read when I was um, a kid and really struggling with it, but High School Musical, I don't even think I read the full book, but I vividly remember sitting on my bed being like, I need to read this book because if I do not read the High School Musical 2, book I am not a real high school musical fan and I, I genuinely remember being upset that I was like struggling to read the book because I was like if, if, if I don't watch this movie like 60 times and if I don't read the book how can I be a real fan and and also I was absolutely obsessed with um, Ashley Tisdale yep I don't know why but I was so obsessed with Ashley Tisdale aka Sharpay Evans she was just like my childhood crush and I probably in some crazy world in my head as a kid was like, yeah, yeah, she, we're, we're gonna get married. Yep. Great. I love that everything in this movie is extremely, extremely generic. Like you have your jock boy, Troy, who plays basketball and his dad wants him to be an accomplished athlete because the dad was an athlete. And then you have Gabrielle, who's the dorky maths girl. She's so smart. You'd never really expect these two characters to get together, never mind have a shared interest, but they do. And it's the power of music that gets them together. And as generic as it was, I loved it as a kid and I loved it now. I just loved how simple this movie was. I just, it's perfect. It makes me reflect on a time where movies were like this, just like bog standard movies. Like the acting literally felt like something you could achieve. It just felt like very bog standard drama, just very standard acting. And I love it because now I feel like we have movies that are even like the same sort of level. Everything is super perfected. Everything, you you know it's a movie, but whenever you watch this, you're like, oh, they're just like a lot of 17 year olds acting and they seem like they're having fun. And I love that. And one thing that I really, 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 really love about this movie is that the singing a lot of the times is shit. I love it because it's once again, not perfected and almost feels realistic. And I love it because Again, now I feel like if we, have, if we have a movie like this, the singing is just gonna be crystal clean. It's gonna be perfect. And I love that in this movie, it is not perfect. It literally just, again, as I said, feels like a load of like 18 or 17 year olds singing and just having fun. And I love that. I love that so much. It's not mid, it's not trying too hard. And I just really miss times like that. I miss the lip syncing when you can clearly tell they're not singing, it's pre-recorded. And I just miss that era of movies or maybe I miss being a kid and getting to watch movies. But surprisingly, for me, this holds up. I I'll be honest, whenever they were singing Breaking Free, I was cringing a little bit, but it wasn't even at the singing, it was more so at the dance moves, you know, the like all that sort of stuff and it's just I was remembering myself as being like their age in secondary school and thinking if I was on stage acting like that with somebody in front of people and I, I would have just cringed so much so I think that made me go like but that was the only thing oh and the song about like exposing your hidden interests I forget the name of that song oh my gosh that's gonna annoy me that song made me cringe because it was just like oh Oof, but everything else, it honestly, I was expecting this to be shocking, especially viewing it through like rose tinted glasses where this movie was perfect to me, but it, it still holds up. Maybe it's because I've watched it so many times and I know every single word and I could probably recite half of the script. Maybe that's why it held up for me, but for me, it worked and I had an incredible time. This movie is also a lot funnier than I realized because the movie spends like half of the time in a self-aware manner just taking the piss out of drama class and drama teachers 
and it's self-aware and I think it's extremely fun like you have this like over-the-top drama teacher being like we need theater to sustain life and just being uh, very over the top, but it's aged in a way that it's actually quite funny and self-aware and ironic And I really love that like I was watching this like oh my god. I love the over-the-top dramatized drama teacher Incredible like so 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 good and as I said I love the awkward dialogue and the friendships and the relationships that are shown on screen like again it feels authentic but one thing I really really loved like as a 12 year old and probably now is that this movie really views like things that you can enjoy in such a black and white manner like we have Troy who's like right I can pick one bit one of two things singing which will ruin my life or I can play basketball. Well, basketball is life, and I, there's no way in hell, no way I could do two things at once. And I remember, oh my gosh, I remember so vivid. This is exposing myself certified. I remember being like 11. You really have to like empathize with me. I was a loser in every single way, but I remember vividly sitting in my bed for nights and months on end being like, I don't know if I can like pop punk music or Eminem. Yeah. I remember genuinely battling with myself being like I can't do two things I can't be like into rap music and then into rock I, I just can't I can't do two things at once and I love that this movie is like that it is so binary it is so black and white like there's no way that you, you can't do two things at once and watching this back I'm laughing at that and I'm laughing at myself for being so silly because I was like I can't do two things at once when you clearly can but it just kind of highlights that time of being a teenager where like the smallest inconveniences are the most dramatic things in your life that are gonna alter your entire life and god forbid i like a rap song and a pop punk song Urgh. what a loser oh my gosh but i loved like it's almost cathartic watching this because i remember what i was like uh, at like 12 or 13 or 14 and just watching myself now and realizing that the things I was very um, insecure about and nervous about do not matter and I've grown so much from that and I'm like a proper adult now and I get to I, I got to dip my toes into that mindset uh, that I had about 10 or 15 years ago and I I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm happy with that. I'm happy with myself for that. And it was very, very nice. Uh, it was a very good trip down memory lane. For me personally, I'll tell you now, High School Musical 3 is probably my favorite because of when it came out, because of the songs. It just, I think it was very angsty at the time. And that, that movie so dark and angsty. But all, obviously High School Musical 2 is incredible. And if you would like me to watch those movies and make a video on High School Musical 2 and 3, or even the series, God, that's gonna be so bad. Let me know because I would love to watch those because this was incredible and it's made me emotional I suppose it's made me extremely happy and it's great to know that High School Musical still <laughs> holds such a special place in my heart I'm not gonna ramble through the songs I'm gonna, I'm gonna tier list so I'm gonna scooch over here okay I'm gonna put my tier list right here this is my ranking of the songs from High School Musical 1 at the top is my favorite at the bottom is my least favorite Judge me, I don't care. It's my opinion. I probably have stupid reasons for it, but yeah, I probably have listened to these songs a million and one times. I remember having them on a CD and putting them into my TV because it had a DVD player in it and dancing around my room and performing and thinking I'm Troy Bolton because I had no friends. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. This is so much rambling. I'm sorry. A high School Musical means a lot to me and probably a lot to you. So let's talk about High School Musical in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video where I will potentially watch the remainder, the remaining High School Musical movies and TV show. Who knows? Let me know. Let's talk about HSM. I will leave you. Bye, 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 bye.